Hello everyone, today we'll be exploring the basic interface of Ryzen Labs Unfold 3D Virtual Spaces. Uh, we're not going to actually do any unwrapping in this tutorial, that will be in another tutorial, but this will just give you a good idea of how the interface works, and from there we can go further. So the first thing we want to do is show you how to load a UV. So we have File, you have your um, very standard menu items, but we want to go to File, Load UV. <coughs> and then I'm going to do uh, a mesh that is unwrapped already so once you are have your UV loaded um, alt and left mouse button in this viewport will rotate around alt right mouse button zoom in and out alt middle mouse button will pan if you would like to maximize this viewport you can click on the full screen 3D and if you notice when I hovered over it it gives you a little bit more info so if you want to go to that easily, control E, but this will give you a full window. You have multiple ways to shade the model. This is a polygonal shading, wireframe, and poly and wireframe. You'll probably end up using poly and wireframe the most, so try to leave that on by default. Uh, under texture, you can have a texture grid. Um, you can have a texture grid with numbers, which is uh, a little bit small. And so one way you can get around that is texture custom, files, load user texture and you can load your own UV in that's a little bit larger I'm gonna leave this back at no texture for now uh, we have a few options to center selection um, enable disable lighting see-through selection etc I'm gonna go back to the full uh, 3d uh, on this side you have your UV layout again alt right mouse button to zoom in and out alt middle mouse button to pan and uh, alt left mouse button does not do anything we have the same thing here UV shaded very similar options um, up here we have uh, a lot of your file load undo redo uh, when you uh, unwrap the progress will be here you have a few different selection modes here uh, seams which you'll be using to cutting and welding uh, constrain for constraining uh, horizontal and vertical edges if you look over here, this is where a lot of your selection tools are um, in terms of selecting edges, uh, vertices, uh, islands, and faces. If you press F1 and F4, you will go between points, edges, polygons, and islands. Or alternatively, you can click here. As you see, when every uh, option is picked, you gain different options in here. So when edges is picked, you have a lot of auto seam options and edge loop parameters, etc. When you press islands, you have a whole different set of selections, and a lot of them do overlap. Um, if you need help with moving around, you have a whole help select islands and uh, mouse interaction down here. You can configure your presets here. And they have a lot of preset modes. Uh, I just stay with unfold 3ds I find it you know perfectly easy to use um, down here uh, and this might be depending on uh, how you launch you have your bottom bar here which is used for a lot of the actions that you'll be performing you have your unwrap area here uh, layout here which is packing textile density margins etc you have your packing properties here and as you notice as I open each of these uh, we gain less and less space so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close a few as I go. You have your island groups, which can be used for creating groups to pack together. Uh, you have your grid, so you can change your grid here. That's seen right here. You have visibility, so if you select any islands with F4, um, you can uh, isolate them, hide them, hide everything else. And you can see visibility, island visibility, and then we have color display and um, color display can be used to change how the model shades um, because that's pretty easy I'll show you really quick um, if you're used to 3d code for example island topology will break this all into different islands which can be very handy I'll show more in future videos of the color display but this is a great way to get uh, good previews of your islands uh, we have UV tile so if you're working with UDIMS you want to use this uh, multi tile is sorry it's actually for um, UDIMS. Uh, UV tile is for the size of the one singular tile. This can be used to make 2 by one textures, 3 by one I don't know why you do 3 by one 4 by one uh, etc. And then um, 
the texture multipliers. I don't use this too often. I usually just use the UV tile. Um, also, if you're curious about what anything does, again, when you hover, it gives you a nice tool tip. In addition, there's this question mark here. This will open up your uh, internet, um, your web browser, and this will have a little bit more details on everything in here. So this can be very handy for um, if you are confused about some things, and the um, and these are you know uh, a little hard to view. You can have everything here. That's about it for the interface. Um, here you have your view modes, top, back, left, front, right. But anyways, going forward, I'm going to move into bringing in a mesh. We're going to unwrap a mesh. We're going to go through uh, some packing features, some grouping features, some constraints.